Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. It's all about fine art photography. Fingers crossed I'm going to be photographing these old wooden poles, shall we say, stanchions and supports currently sat in this sea loch and I'm going to turn it into my style of fine art photography. That's the plan anyway. So I've got two separate locations. The first one I'm just going to classify as a warm-up because it's a bit classical. But the second location, and please don't miss that later on in the video, is much more interesting, much more quirky, and will probably lend itself more to fine art than this particular picture will. However, I'm going to photograph this anyway and then go on to location number two. In case you're wondering where I am, I'm just outside Fort William, so if you're on the main A82, driving into Fort William, about two or three miles out on the left-hand side, there is a sea lock, and that's where I that's where I'm currently sat right now about to take the picture of these stanchions. What, well, actually it looks to me like as if it's a, an old jetty, an old, old jetty. It's starting to rain, so I better get my skates on. Very quickly talking you through my setup. I want to shoot this at a two minute exposure. So I'll add my 10 stop filter. Now, when I add my 10 stop filter, I know that an eighth of a second will offer me two minutes and that's exactly what I'm after. I might even extend it to four minutes, we'll have to wait and see how the two minutes evolve. So basically working in reverse, I've chosen an eighth of a second on there because I know that'll translate to two minutes. So now I'm popping up my histogram and I'm just going to play around now with my ISO and my aperture until I get my desired histogram. Now I don't mind peaking it ever so slightly because the chances are I'm going to be removing the whole of the background. So this is going to be a real fine art image shooting out to sea with nothing going on in the background at all. Composition very simple, got the stanchions right in the centre going right out to the centre of the frame, finishing off roughly in the middle. I might even drop that down ever so slightly. There, it couldn't be any more simple than that. And I'm going to focus on the first stanchion there, set my focus to manual, drop my 10 stop filter in there, give it a little bit of a clean, straight to bulb mode, bulb timer, two minutes and away she goes. I've been travelling back and forth Glencoe for many years now and I've always spotted this location and I've always fancied photographing it. So today, after a long wait, I'm glad that uh, I can eventually put this image to bed. Kids, I'm guessing, probably earlier today or at some point have built a little rock pyramid on the front left. I'm going to leave that there actually because I think that will add a bit more interest into the image as well. Just a bit more foreground interest. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, I do like this. I do like it. So I've managed to achieve exactly what I wanted to achieve in this image. Uh, a lovely bright white sea. And of course, well, the sky's not relevant because I'm going to remove the sky anyway. But that is looking terrific. And just double check, make sure everything is nice and solid. If I zoom in to those rocks there, those stone, stones, you can see that absolutely pin sharp. And for the last shot here, I've just come a little bit further back so I can shoot this from a slightly higher perspective uh, because I want to give myself a little bit more breathing space between the end of the stanchion and the land in the background. And I think that will pretty much do it. So again, I'm not going to change any of the settings. Two minute exposure and away it goes. One last shot for good luck. Always have one last shot for good luck. If only there was something nice to look at while I'm hanging around for two minutes. What a tremendous place. What a tremendous place.
I can only but apologize for the close-up filming, but I'm in a really precarious position here. I'm uh, actually in somebody's garden. I'm, I just walked into the garden and right to the end of the garden and I've precariously purchased my camera on these rocks that sit right on the end of the garden. So uh, it might be a little bit naughty of me, I'm not quite sure, but uh, you don't ask questions, you don't know if you're doing wrong or not, do you? Anyway, right, long story short, I'm photographing these, they look like stick men in the water over a two minute exposure, again with the intentions of losing the horizon and turning it into a fine art image. Slight issue here in that, unfortunately the stick men appear to be moving left and right with the water. Well, they're not, they don't appear to be moving, they definitely are moving. So that could prove to be a little bit awkward for me in post-production. But what I will do, I'll take a sped up shot so I could freeze them and it'll give me the option then to change them to still stanchions that aren't moving. Or of course I could leave the wavy stanchions in uh, depending on how they look on the final image. But my setup is going to be exactly the same. Nothing's going to be any different. I'm just going to photograph these at a two minute exposure, flatten that water out, make it nice and bright, and then I'll probably lose the horizon. But I'm very restricted with where I can go and how I could take this picture. Uh, I am seriously just waiting at any point now for somebody to walk over to me and ask me what I'm doing. But having said that, this is Scotland and Scotland, uh, they're very, very good and they're generally very nice about stuff like this. I mean, when I say I walk into somebody's garden, I haven't opened a gate, I haven't climbed over a fence. It's just a, a bit of land that's decorated. So I think it might be part of the garden belonging to the house across the road. So I'm not a bad person. But yeah, this is interesting. 